Jan Žižka, or Medieval for the international audience, is a Czech historical movie that is about to roll in into our theatres. It is based on the story of Jan Žižka, who is one of the most famous uh, military commanders of the Husitan Wars. The uh, movie is directed by Petr Jakl, and Mr. Jakl stated multiple times during the production that this is going to be a historical movie, that he consulted historians, etc. Disclaimer here, I am not judging the actors, I am not judging the storyline, I will be focusing solely on the equipment, costumes, weapons, etc, etc. So, uh, yeah, let the games begin. So, the main character's costume. Uh, we are looking at something that is supposed to be a brigantine or maybe coat of plates and the uh, brigantines were a thing and coat of plates were totally a thing in this era. We are looking somewhere at the late uh, 1300s, early 1400s. The thing is, if you take a closer look at this, it uh, just looks like a studded leather vest with rivets, like the coat of plate work in a way that you have a layer of fabric uh, or leather and that has a riveted uh, collection of smaller metal plates underneath it and together it provides a rather good protection. This looks kinda empty to me, like it, it doesn't really have uh, those metal plates that should be there underneath the, the top layer. I have to give credit to the customers uh, because they at least tried to keep the silhouette correct. The natural waist of the armor is where it is supposed to be, but then uh, you look underneath and you see that the character is wearing super thick belt with fist size buckle which is not correct uh, and we will get to this later the thing I don't understand is the male sleeve we can see it's falling it's sliding off uh, the right shoulder of Jan Jishka. the thing is with the male you would use it to cover the areas which are not covered by other armor so typically it would be armpits but here he's just wearing this male sleeve and it's, it's just sliding off his uh, shoulder and armpit and that's kind of like defeating the point of having the male there. The male should be continuing at least uh, partially under the brigantine to fill its function. I remember the sky is bigger. Shoulder pauldron. I guess they are easy to make for the movie productions and that's why they are used so often. Because, well, they fit almost everyone and they make people look menacing and armored. But why is he wearing only one and why is it attached to him like uh, these BDSM leather strips? Like the pauldron would be attached to the layer beneath it with laces. And blue Hawks flew faster then. And higher. And of course, the sin of so many historical movies, the trousers. They were not a thing. They were totally not a thing in this era, in this area of the world. He should be wearing separated hosen made out of wool, not these leather motorcycle pants. And of course, no helmet. Because he's the main character, he doesn't need one, right? Yes, I get it that in movies you need to help the audience to recognize the main character, to see his face, expression, etc. But 
For example, the movie Outlaw King did it right. The main character was wearing in battle a helmet with the open face, so you can st still see his expression. The head is like the first place you want to protect, because your brain is there. And human brain is kinda sensitive to hard, fast hitting objects. Just give him a helmet. It's perfectly okay, you can still see his face. Men were just and noble. Alright, this helmet. This helmet is the German salad. These helmets would not appear in Europe until 1430s, 1440s and this is the late form of this helmet. Like, you already got your thing almost right with your kettle heads, so why the salad all of a sudden? Like, give them bassinets, it's perfectly fine for this era. And the bad guy would still look equally menacing. And also, of course, because this is a historical movie, everybody's wearing dark colors. Like black, dark brown, leathery. You know, people wore colors. People liked colors. Also, in a heat of the battle, when everybody's in the dark, pun intended, how do you recognize yourself? How do you recognize your friend from foe? Like, that's why people wore coat of arms. That's why people wore the bars. That's why people used livery jackets. So your friends don't murder you. For example, the Swiss, during the Burgundian Wars, they are depicted with Helvetian cross on their clothing. Because they had a first-hand experience in one of the f previous battles that they were not able to recognize their friends and then the, had a quotation friendly fire incident. Also, I'm not sure about this double-handed axe. Like, yes, they were used as a weapon in earlier eras, but why is nobody using a shield or spear or some other kind of polearm? <sighs> what is this breastplate? Why does it have these spaced armor plate thingies out front on the cuirass? Uh, do you need protection from enemy RPGs to detonate the shape charge warhead before it reaches your main armor? Like, it's completely redundant. You are already wearing a perfectly functional caress able to deflect incoming arrows also what are these shoes why is he wearing gaiters over something that seems to be just a low sh modern shoe like these shoes look more like a second world war american soldier shoes than the historical ones this movie claims to have the highest budget in the czech movie history but yet, you can't get your main character decent shoes. But it's all gone. Jan? Only the coronation of a new emperor can restore the rule of law. But I need your help. Okay, looking at this crossbow... Bowman firing line... I. Yeah, the crossbows are a bit smaller than they should be. I mean, the arms of the crossbow are really thin, but yes, I get it. You can't have a full-fledged war crossbow on the movie set. But again, the helmets, these are Italian open salads, which are appearing much later in the 15th century. Like... It's perfectly fine if you would give them uh, kettle hats like the, all the horse riders behind these guys have. Also, what is this weapon in his left hand? This is a, some sort of sword break a dagger 
or to be more precise, it's a parrying dagger. Yes, these weapons were a thing in the 16th century. They were designed to parry against thin bladed weapons like rapiers. They were designed to block and catch the blade and lock it in these holes, therefore denying your opponent the usage of his weapon. Like, I guess that they wanted to give the main character some iconic badass looking weapon, but why this? Jan Žižka is so often depicted with the mace, it was his iconic weapon and they got this right. So just give him a shield. So that was a short breakdown of the trailer for Medieval. I have a very mixed feelings about this, but let's wait for the final product and we will see if this... Oh, no, 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 you're not making video game out of this. Uh, hey, uh, I need a break. I uh, hope you guys liked it and see you next time. This was Mike from JM History.